This is the action potential in pacemaker cells of the heart. There's a slow depolarization that occurs at baseline. Sinoatrial node cells have a higher sodium permeability than potassium at baseline, so this slow depolarization is caused by sodium influx. This creates a constant state of slow depolarization, and the gradual sodium influx creates the characteristic upward slope. Then you have a depolarization phase shown here. This is primarily through calcium influx through voltage-gated calcium channels, and it occurs when the threshold potential is reached. Calcium, not sodium, is the key ion responsible for rapid depolarization, and this dif differentiates these pacemaker cells from other cardiac myocytes and neurons. Then there's a repolarization phase, which is, as usual, driven by potassium efflux, potassium leaving the cell. This is the repolarization phase down here. This occurs after reaching your peak potential, and it involves inactivation of the calcium channels. It significantly increases in, in potassium conductance. Some unique features to the pacemaker cells, there's no stable resting potential, unlike regular cardiac cells and neural cells. There's a continuous cycling of depolarization, and it has a higher baseline sodium per permeability that sets it apart. It functions as a primary cardiac pacemaker if it has the fastest signal generation.